Hello again, it's Nikki here and welcome to another video. So this video is the process of me painting a little birthday card for my nephew that I did very recently. He is Pokemon mad at the minute as like all children are, I'm sure. So I painted him a Pikachu for his birthday card because he flipping loves Pikachu and like who doesn't? I um, I asked my brother what he wanted for his birthday present and my brother said that he wanted a Pikachu squish mallow which I then obviously ordered for him and when it came I did not want to give it to my nephew. I was like no this six year old is not having this Pikachu it's mine. <laughs> I did end up giving it to him and he was very happy with it, so I did not in fact steal a present from a six-year-old. However, I am considering get myself my very own Pikachu Squishmallow because it was very comfy and very just nice and very cute. So it's quite a gloomy day when I drew and painted this. I did the majority of it on one day. I did the sketching part and the transferring it onto the watercolour paper in one day and then I did most of the painting another day and then finished off another day so it was like three days. No it wasn't like the whole day but it was like over the course of three days which is why my nail polish is like all over the place in this video. My nails are really damaged at the minute because I did loads of gel nails. Like I, d I had like a month where I did gel nails every week and it just I probably didn't like take it off properly and it's just really damaged my nails it made them really bendy so I'm like I don't want to use gels but also I hate looking at my bare nails at the minute because they're so like damaged so <laughs> anyway that's kind of first world problems so for this drawing I decided to sketch it first on my iPad in Procreate I don't usually do this usually I'll just like sketch straight onto the paper but I knew that I really wanted this painting to have quite a clean look I didn't want there to be any sketch lines and because I don't paint fan art like this very often I wasn't super confident going straight in onto the watercolour paper it's also very expensive what well, it's not very expensive but it's like fairly expensive watercolour paper it's not like the cheapest brand it's not the most expensive but it's not the cheapest brand and I didn't want to waste it so I sketched it on the iPad and then printed it out onto a little sheet of paper and then just light boxed it as you will have seen and yeah I find with something that I want to be quite graphic and clean like this that's the best way forward and I'm really happy with the way it turned out so I'm really glad I did that but you know, it's one of those things you kind of do end up wasting a sheet of paper because you have that sheet of paper with a sketch on it that you trace off of. But I'll probably, I'll either stick it into my sketchbook or I'll do like paint swatches on it or I'll use it in some way. It's not like it's just going to go straight in the bin, it'll get used. But that's how I decided to do this one. So this past weekend was late May bank holiday as well as my nephew's birthday. So we had a cheeky little trip back up to Yorkshire and it was lovely. I took my sketchbook and my travel paint palette. I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to get into doing landscapes so I made a little travel gouache palette and I made a little sketchbook out of some scrap paper that I had lying around and I bought some, I think they're Arteza brand water brushes, like travel water brushes. I took those with me because on the Sunday we went to a place called Skipton that has a really cute little castle and I say little it's a fairly big castle and yeah I spent like an hour just sketching in the garden of the castle trying to sketch well paint the castle and it was really difficult and I don't like how it turned out I didn't record any of it which is why I'm telling you about it now instead of showing you it <laughs> Yeah, it was just really hard. I'm just so rusty at landscapes. And then we came back and I did some more paintings based on photos that I'd taken. And they came out so much better. And I think it's to do with the colour because I'd run them through a filter. I used the app Snow to edit all of my photos and they have really good filters. Like the colour 
manipulation on the filters is just really pretty so I'd run the photos that I then painted through one of these filters and painted from that so they're very oversaturated the shadows are very blue and yeah I think that's why I prefer them so I think I'm gonna have to do some more kind of exercises in looking at colour in real life and then translating that into my brain into sort of a more saturated my style kind of thing and then getting it onto the paper it's very complicated I, i'm gonna need so much practice but it was fun it was fun painting even though it was hard it was fun so i'm definitely gonna be doing more of it i filmed the creation of my travel gouache palette so i'm definitely gonna release that video at some point quite soon and I did some little test paintings in my sketchbook as well, so that video is coming your way. Um, what else have I been up to? It's quite ironic really because last in my last video I was saying how work had really calmed down and I like had so much more capacity to like do stuff outside of work and then almost as if the universe was like, oh no no, that's not right. <laughs> Everything got insane again so coming up i have two trade shows that i have to go to and set up and and um put all the products out for our company and then I have to stay over there in birmingham so we have to stay over in a hotel and then we have to break break them down so we have to take all the products back off they're like basically on top of each other so that's going to be really interesting but <laughs> <laughs> I'm still enjoying it. It's not as bad as it was. I'm not doing everything by myself. I have got help, so it's fine. But it, I just did think it was quite funny that I was like, oh, everything is really calmed down. And then just like that, everything went insane again. I think that's about all I've got to say, really. I had no plan going into this video. I don't know if you can tell. The next video I do, I'm probably going to try and think of some actual things to say. If you have any questions about my process or about this painting, just leave us a little comment down below. If you like what you see, have a little mosey on over to my Instagram page where I post more things like this, somewhat frequently. <laughs> I try to post a few times a week at least. It's I can't do it every day, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it here and let the rest of the video play out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, leave me some questions, comments, whatever below and I will answer them. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!